Welcome back everybody, this is Always back with another video on the channel. Today we are going to learn about a Web Storage API. Now Web Storage API provide a mechanism by which browsers, whether it's a Chrome, Firefox, Opera, Edge browser or Internet Explorer, they all can store key value pairs and it is a much more better way than using cookies. There are two mechanisms within the browser, so session storage and a local storage. Session storage maintains a separate storage area for each given origin that available for duration of a paid session. So as long as your browser is open, uh, it will store the data. Local storage does the same thing, but persists even when the browser is closed. So we're going to look at how we can create uh, data and then store into local storage. So I'm in a Chrome right now and we are in a console in a developer tool. So if you don't know how to get to the console, simply go click on these three dots, go to more and click on developer tools. All right, so let's go to Google Chrome console. And here, first of all, I'm going to create an object. So let's just say war and we'll just name our object data is equal to and then I'll just type a key as a name. And I'll just type my name always here and then go to the next key. So I'll just say developer role. So that would become a JavaScript object, right? Now to store the data in a local storage or in a session storage, you need to have a string. So you can only store a string into your local storage and your session storage. So for now, our data is in a JavaScript object. So we can check that by typing data press enter and it gives you back this object right so now let's say we want to store this to our local storage so what we can do here we go war and I'm going to let's say create a stringify form of this JSON object so we're gonna stringify it so I'll just say store D is equal to and I'll type JSON dot stringify and here I will grab that data object and then here I will press enter. Now if I access store D and now this is an object but it's in a string form now. So it's no more JavaScript object, it's a JSON data now. So we can store that into our local storage. So let's go and store that into local storage. So I'll type local storage dot set item. And then here we'll type in a parentheses the name of our key so the key would be let's just say data dot uh, sorry comma and then the object name so we want to store store d into data as in a key so i'll tap enter and now we have this data key into our browser local storage so we can verify that so we go to application click on local storage and here we have a google.com.au so if I click on that, I have a uh, different other keys as well, but here we have a key named data. So in that data, we have this data. So name, always, role, and developer, as you can see. Now I'm gonna close the browser and I come back and I show you a few other things. So I'm just gonna close the browser. We'll open up Chrome again. And here right now we are still in the google.com.au. So we go to our developer tools. I'm going to go to application and here we still have a data and we have the value for that in there, right? So one more thing I'm going to show you. So let's just say we are going to go to apple.com.au, right? So there's a different website now. So now once you get to the website, apple.com.au, you see this local storage has been changed. So now we have this thing here. We don't really have an access to google.com, the AU local storage anymore. All right, so that's basically works with your current web page. So whatever the current web page you have open, uh, it's data which is stored in your local browser will show up here. Now, if I go to console and I'll just clear this out. And if I try to access the local storage data key, so I'll go local storage.get item and here I'll type a name data and then press enter. It says it is null. But if I go back to google.com.au website, and now if I go local storage.get item and I'll type data, 
key and press enter and there you go it brings me back this storage so if i go to application go to local storage and here we have this data key back so it's stored in your browser but you need to make sure that you tell the browser where you are and where to get the data from so this is a google.com.a website that will give you this data key now there's another few things we want to talk about here so we know how to set data and we how we can retrieve data by using get item now if you want to remove the data from your local storage you can use this so type local storage dot remove item and then in the parentheses type the key name press enter and now if we go to applications and i'll go to google.com.au and i can see that there is no data key available so what we can do we are going to add another uh well let's just say we add some some sort of string into our local storage so we got local storage dot set item and here i'll just say text and then here i want to type this all this values the text or whatever it does know right and then enter now if we want to go to check this out so we'll go to local storage dot get item and type test as a key name and which will give us back this read string what we just typed. Now we've seen the local storage how we can remove by using uh, by calling this method on local storage. So remove item and a set item and a get item will get you the the value of the specific key. So you can store pretty much a lot of data. So if you're working with like a single page application and you want to store data like a JSON format, then you can use this. This is really good. And there's some advanced usages of this as well, which we are going to talk about in a separate video later on. Now let's look at the session story. So we know the local story stays uh, in the browser, even though you close your browser. So if I go type session storage dot and we'll go set item and I'll go hello. We we'll just say color and we we'll just say, let's just say blue color, right? I'm gonna enter that and now if I go and get the data session storage dot get item I'll type the name of my key and I enter and it gives me back this blue as a key so if I refresh that browser and I try to get the session storage so we go session oops session story dot get item and then we go color enter it gives me the blue but now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna close the browser and I'm gonna bring my browser up again we go to google.com.au so and now if we go to developer tools and in the console I want to type session storage dot get item and we have the key of color and it says it is null because it we close the browser and we came back so it actually removed that data on that key but if I go local storage dot get item and I know there's a key data there so it's null but we have a uh, key text there so let's check it out if it's still there so get item test enter and there you go we got the string back so local storage stores that data even though you close the browser session storage is pretty cool if you close the browser come back and that data is gone now you're probably thinking that this is really uh, doesn't make any sense a way to use the local storage in session stories then um, I'll have a project coming soon on JavaScript where I have used the local story to store the data into the browser and retrieve it back. So that's going to be like a school management system I'm creating currently. So we'll use this local storage and session storage in that application. All right, guys, so make sure you subscribe and check it out the description for books uh, for the best book I reckon for JavaScript in Java a lot of people have asked me and uh, yeah subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and I talk to you guys in the next one chase